What is up everyone? Welcome back to Plark's Garage. I'll show you what we got in store for today in a little bit. But uh, in the meantime, we'll go ahead and check this out. So, I took out the all the valve caps, covers, whatever you want to call it. Um, the way you did that was with a magnet. Just got to put it out, slip it off, and then just got to make sure it stays in order. Um, I threw back the front timing cover on the head because I should be taking it to the machine shop. We'll see if they're open today so I can get it resurfaced. Um, do a valve grind so that the valves seat better. I need to replace the exhaust manifold studs which I got right here. Got new ones, ARP exhaust manifold studs. But in the meantime, we're waiting for someone or one of my buddies. I'm going to be working on his car in a little bit. And uh, I'm trying to catch him when he arrives, so let's go see, uh, he's going to have to wait a little bit. Alright, so my friend's here, apparently his brakes squeak when he applies the brake pedal. And the shop that told him that he took it to said that he needs to replace his brake pads or need from brake service. Uh, so we're going to go jack up the car, take a look at it. I'm just going to replace the pads and uh, we'll see what's going on. Alright, so we got the wheel out. Here's the brake rotor. It looks like it may need to get resurfaced. Because <laughs> it has that close to mirror look. Uh, brake pads are pretty worn out. Sure, let me see that shit. There you go. This is the outer. And it's the inner. You can see why it's starting to make a lot of noise. There's a lot of debris. But um, we'll go ahead and replace that. With these new brake pads right here. Hey, shit. And uh... Yeah, I'll show you what I do. My little secret and tips of how I try to keep things quiet, especially the brakes. All right, so there's the new brake pads. You can see that. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this magic goo, uh, juice. It's actually like a brake lining, brake pad material coating. It helps try to keep the brake pads quiet, especially the fact that the rotors aren't brand new or resurfaced. So we're just going to go and put a little bit of this and then uh, we'll do the same thing to the other side also. It's a little bit of my secrets. I'm not sure if you can find this at a store. I'm not going to say where I got it. It's kind of also the reason why I covered the label. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry for a little bit and then we're going to go on to this right here on the brake caliper bracket. So one thing that annoys me about some mechanics, they don't re-grease the slide pins on the brake pads and over time the, the slide pins start to seize and they'll cause the brakes to lock. And um, we're going to go ahead and grease that with a little bit of a uh, brake lubricant I got from uh, Napa. It's called Soglide or lubricating compound. It's very good for the, the brake caliper slide pins because it doesn't seize even when it gets hot. And... Uh, just helps it release the brakes better. All right, so I didn't record the other side because it got really hot. It's a little bit, uh, I think after 11 right now. And, uh, want to finish it up real quick it's basically the same order or same uh, process on the other side as i showed you my time lapse but um yeah so we're gonna go and hopefully find out if the machine shop is open so we can drop off the cylinder head and um yeah we'll go ahead and do do that after this quick break all right all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and load up the head into the truck and um, we'll bring it to the machine shop. Or we'll head over to the machine shop.
dropped off my head or my cylinder head to Tom's Auto, formerly known as Meddlers, I think. Um, in the time lapse, you see that uh, we seem to be going around for a while. And uh, one spot, or the first time lapse, I actually went to their old shop, which I thought they were still there. I guess a lot of things can change in a year, so the year that I was gone. So it's there now, but they told me, um, uh, Big Tom asked me like if I had valve seals, so going back home, go grab the valve seals real quick, and then we're gonna go drop it back to the shop, and then uh, I'm not sure how long it's gonna take, but um, well, it's gonna be good, because those guys deal with a lot of race cars, so let's go back and grab the valve seals real quick and drop it back off. All right, so I got my valve seals right here. Um, kind of freaked me out because they're the same color. Uh, we checked and uh, hopefully it's all good. Uh, I know one side's supposed to be a different color, which is the intake side and the exhaust side's supposed to be a different color. I'm not used to seeing the same. I ordered these a while back and shit, I hope it's fucking correct. And uh, yeah, we'll head back to the shop, drop it off and um, I guess we'll wait. Well, not today, but we'll, you know, we'll wait for it to be finished. And in the meantime, while we're waiting, we're going to go uh, and do some other stuff to the, the 240. All right, back to the shop. We're heading back to the shop. See you in a little bit. shop um, I just gotta wait for them to give me a call back when it's done um, I know it'll be pretty good and yeah just can't wait till I get it back and everything starts rolling downhill the rest of the halfway of this refresh but um yeah stay tuned see what uh, we got next for the build and the finishing of what I gotta do and uh, like, comment, subscribe, and um, see you next time. Peace. Oh,